Hello everyone, welcome back to Juno New Origins where we've got a shockingly fast contract to break the sound barrier and then a CubeSat mission and an orbital mission that aren't exactly uh, compatible but we could probably do them both as long as we have enough fuel to go from this one to that one after we release the CubeSats of course and also we can take care of this light speed one as well on that same mission because it just says go faster than 3 kilometers per second and reach 80 kilometers in altitude so that's automatic for the for the orbital missions so that's the plan so I think we can do both of these at the same time uh, it's just that we'll have to do this one first finish it and then go to that one uh, hopefully that works out anyway we've got all that accepted and yeah now as far as the ground vehicles I'll skip that for now let's just knock out the Mach 1 thing first uh, it doesn't say anything about landing, so that's usually my bane when it comes to the planes. <laughs> so uh, we shouldn't be in too bad a shape. Okay, well, let's just make this a little bit better for breaking the sound barrier. In this case, we are going to go with a great deal of power. I'd like to rotate that because otherwise that little sphere is clipping our vertical stabilizer. Okay, should be stable and affordable. Uh, I don't think there were any caveats that we need to worry about. Under 15 kilometers, Mach 1, hold speed for 1 kilometer. Let's give it a go. Okay, looks mean. Oh, throttle's not working. Uh, I'll just use that. Okay, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Uh, don't worry, we don't have to hit the particular mark there. It's fine. Uh, I'm pulling up and it's not actually doing that. Okay, uh, okay. That was insanely nose heavy, or something is not configured for pitch right. No, well, that says pitch. <laughs> uh, maybe it needs to be inverted? We'll check outside. Let's roll, that's fine. That's what I wanted it to be. Okay. Oh, but. No, 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 the. Ailerons aren't supposed to do pitch. I thought we had them on roll. It said roll. Clicked on this. It said roll here. Oh, well, if I turn off single axis, it does pitch as well. But it should only do roll here. But it was definitely doing pitch. <laughs> um, well, maybe I should rebuild it again? No, no let me try it. Oh, okay, now they're not doing pitch. All right. Okay, off we go. I might have the wrong craft file or something. Anyway, we're off. And it looks like we can go. Shouldn't be hard to break the sound barrier with this. Okay, 0 0.991.0. .0. Okay. You tracking that? How horizontally do you want? Okay, well, I'm um, just going one kilometer. All right. Well, seems like a shame to lose it. Is there anywhere nice to land? I don't want to try. Uh, the, the runway is not a nice place to land. Um, we're running out of fuel, though. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, okay. Well, we can't recover that. Uh, let's just end flight. Yeah. Alright, that was a long shot anyway. Okay, so let's do the rocket missions, all packaged up. There's a progression mission here. Let's fly through all the checkpoints in 15 minutes over a 60 kilometer course. Seems long, but okay. Anyway, but we'll do that later. Let's do the rockets first. Clearly better at the rockets around here. One cube set. 
Okay. We should probably optimize this whole deal a little bit further. Like, I don't think the core has to be that big. This doesn't need to be that big either. That starting thrust weight ratio for this stage is 1.96. The delta V doesn't seem wrong. Okay, that's better there. We can maybe toss on some extra delta V down here. Maybe a little bit bigger now that I've added some fuel there. Okay, so I'm hoping that this will be enough to get us to the altitudes that we want. We don't have RCS yet. So, since they offer it anyway, uh, let me sneak in some gyro. It'll let us point in the right direction without lighting the engine. Otherwise, we could use the engine gimbling in order to turn us. But we might as well take what we can get there. Don't think I need more than a kilowatt? I'm not sure. To do all the corrections, we do need time. Power consumption, it says zero? Uh, it says of the gyroscope. What about the core? Okay. Well, anyway, we've got the one CubeSat. That's all we need. And we are going to an altitude of, let's call, just call it 150. Does it mean that instead of plus or minus 148 and 153, does it really mean that... No, I don't understand that at all. Um, I thought maybe it was saying that it could be from... I don't know. Okay. I don't know what I meant. Let's just get on with it. Okay, it is tracking that. So, full throttle and go. Oh, I don't have much roll authority with the little gyro there. Okay, forget it. I wanted to roll into my heading, but we can go this way. I need two engines just to have roll authority. Or fins, I guess fins would do. Okay, we are past the speed of sound. Oh, I forgot. I can use the joystick. I'm trying to use the keyboard. Okay, staging. Okay, we'll actually keep going up there. What is that marker anyway? I guess it's a negative target marker. Opposite of the village runway edge there. Uh, we, who, oh, the light speed, right. Uh, it's going like, which contract? Anyway, our apoapsis already reads that it's okay. For now, I don't feel like the little gyro is doing quite enough. Nope, well, in time warp it can. Seems like it really doesn't take much power. Oh, oh, um, okay. We have to detach the CubeSat. Okay. I got extra orbits there. So tech points like that. And all right, that's done. Now we have to go to this orbit here. So continuing. How much shelter V do I have? Well, we have 960. We're, we're fine. Oh, <laughs> the CubeSat was coming back at us. Uh, I don't know if it had a collider or anything or not. Record altitude, yes. This one's pretty precise. Okay, that's the apoapsis. Technically, I probably should have done that the other way around, but... Well, we used 1% of our battery. So we could cut down on that. Okay, one. And... And it's happy. Okay. Um, I think we have enough to deorbit this, so let's just go ahead and do that. I've ended up putting 
an unusually realistic gyro in here, apparently. Because it's not turning at all. It really isn't. Power usage. Well, it occasionally decides to gyro. Did like 60 watts for a sec there. Um, doesn't seem to be doing anything. Alright, maybe I've gotten messed up. Gyro. Okay, but it will work during time warp, right? Oh, wait, I didn't set it to the right thing. It will work during time warp, right? Yes, it will. Okay, this is firmly suborbital now. Periapsis not applicable. Maybe we could have hit the railway edge with it. No, um, anyway. Okay, so let's just end flight. Destroy. Okay, what's next? Location, quick deployment. Okay, so maybe this will get us... Well, I guess that's the alley pad. What I want is a runway there, because that's much nicer than the village runway. Uh, especially if we're going to go shockingly fast. So... We have to launch in five minutes. No, that's fine. Let's just get on with it. <laughs> we have a new customer, Chuck Schaefer, and we have to deploy very quickly. Okay. Well, um, so we need to change this so that I can get to orbit very fast. Probably don't need the CubeSat. The only thing we need to do to change it to get to orbit really fast is make that engine bigger. And that'll decrease the burn time of that. Total burn time, three minutes. CubeSat we can save the money on. Okay, I don't know if there was any money involved, but... Okay, that seems like it'd be good enough. No catches, right? Seems like it. Alright, go. Uh, might have been less than five minutes, including my prep time. Okay, it does cost a little bit extra, but it is the military, so it's alright. I wonder if there's, if there's any way to configure the data that's shown here. Should look that up. It's all that stuff I don't need. Okay, staging. This should not take very long, so... We do not need to angle upward. Much. We do need to angle a little bit to get to 80. Well, not much. How did I even get a roll? It's lopsided. Let me cut that. Um, well, we, we have limited time, so... Radial. Very radial. Let me take advantage of what time I have. Okay, we manage it, but I could have managed that better than I did. Fine for the military, I guess. Altitude record eventually, I suppose. Heliosynchronous orbit. Well, yeah, let's just knock these out. I'm a rocket person, let's face it. Okay, so, it claims that an inclination of 100 degrees and a thousand by a thousand is a heliosynchronous orbit around Drew. I'll take their word for that. <laughs> I wonder, but I'll take their word for that. Now, did we have a payload to deploy on there? No. We just have to launch the rocket. Well, I think this can do that. Rocket 2 rides again. Honestly, I should just stick to rockets. It's much simpler. <laughs> I think I made a much better first impression on my initial playthrough a year ago because I started focusing on rock. I focused on rockets early on, and that was probably a better idea than what I've done this time, uh, switching between the rocket plane and car. Okay, here we go. So, a hundred degree inclination. Um, 
doesn't actually show my inclination, does it? <laughs> uh, of all the information that I'd like. Okay. So it's a little bit west of north that we have to go. Well, it should say, yeah, it says here, so that's fine. Okay, pretty good. And staging. Oh, I, I used the heavy one. Oh, gosh. I didn't need to do that. And that's a little bit less efficient and more costly. Okay, we got the inclination. Okay, uh, that's close enough to the target apoapsis. We'll just go up to that, circularize, and that'll be that. Uh, I'm worried about that Delta V now. Uh, come on. I shouldn't have packed the big engine. I didn't need the big engine. Ah, uh, we're short because I used the big engine. Ah. Gosh darn it. Okay. Well, that was a fail. I'll just say destroy, air, uh, destroy craft, not aircraft. And yeah, no, I didn't want the big engine version. That was for the speed run for the military, not this. In fact, our inner stage could be smaller. Much more Delta V. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, well, we know what we need to do. Okay, first stage running out. And staging. Okay, cruising along nicely and leisurely. Okay, well, we're in orbit, boosting up that apoapsis. Yep, overdoing it there. Okay, still with 710 meters per second. Uh, nope, the other way. All right. Hopefully that'll be enough. Okay, go. Right over runway's edge. Well, wait. How does that work? <laughs> we're, we're in sun-synchronous orbit. Anyway. I wasn't trying for geosync. Okay, surplus 358 actually. Alright. Well, we've got one of these things. Comms isn't really a thing, right? So we don't have to have commsats. Otherwise it'd be more useful. We're keeping the active craft clean here in this case. You know, we can only have five. I might as well go to the tech tree and unlock some new stuff. Okay, soft landing has some contracts. We'll just go with that. And system engineers, display orbit lines, probably would let us get to the moon, so we should get that. And off-roader. Yeah, I identified these three as the new contract ones. Okay, given those, then what else in this tier? Mop pellant. Well, I'd like to not use the... The, whatchamacallit, uh, gyro. It'd be nice to finally get an engine that isn't pressure fed. Oh, there's fairings. Okay, I wanted fairings because it's a little bit ridiculous releasing the payloads through the nose cone. Side interstage is tempting though. Rocket engine, gas generator engines are down here. I think we're doing all right with the pressure fed so far, so we'll just get the fairings so that things don't look horrible. Okay. So, next, Mountaineers. What? Oh, well, that's a progression mission. I guess I should accept it, just just because. All checkpoints. This is a mountain route. Hard. Light speed, 4 kilometers per second. See, I've already done that, right? Well, I mean, close. Uh, we really need to... Well, let's just pick that up. It's money, and that's money too. We can have nine active jobs now. Might as well pick up Mach 2. But let's uh, refresh contracts. Maybe we'll get something... Luna flyby, that's what I was looking for. Okay, let's pick that up. Now we've got quite a slate. 
this is sort of a repeat of CubeSat things. Uh, I'll save Luna Flyby for next time. I'm gonna try to put these two CubeSats into orbit and do light speed and yeah, we should be able to do those as a combo package. And we don't need this anymore. We have fairings, right? Those fairings are thick. Uh, well, this is a little bit thin for two CubeSats, actually. Because of how thick the walls are. Well, that's almost right. Okay. Uh, yeah, we should be able to release the satellites and then get to the higher orbit that would be necessary for light speed, I think. Might be cutting it close, but no, I, I think it should be alright. Four, four kilometers per second. Pretty sure we've already done that. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, throw up. Stability assist on, and... Oh, that's a lot of stuff, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, well, we're mostly interested in the CubeSat mission first. So, no inclination in particular, let's go. Oh yeah, I'm not doing shockingly fast. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not doing that one, it's fine, it's okay, don't panic. And next. Oh, I did not want to release the fairing there. It's probably okay. It's getting a lot of wobbliness. Okay. Coming close to the end of the first burn. Okay, well, I went a little bit past. I don't know whether that's within the tolerances or not, but should be good enough. It's still checkmarked, yeah, so we know. Okay, uh... Going up to Apoapsis. Well, its actual tolerances are like pretty close to space, basically. I'm actually going to keep that low so that it's easier to boost up to a higher speed with it. And de detaching the CubeSats. Do we have enough? Yeah, we have enough Delta V for 4,000 meters per second. Okay, so the CubeSat contract is done. I'm going to go back to Periapsis to get the speed. Okay, there we go. And maybe we'll get a height record there. I'll just go up to the top and then deorbit this. It's not particularly close to the moon or anything. But... The last little bit actually costs less, so it's not that far either. Okay, we already deorbited. Alright, so that's all cleaned up. And so next time we'll try for the Luna flyby. 50 million, still pretty lucrative. Still pretty lucrative. Alright, so we'll see how I do that next time. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.